Solemnity. <laughs> Bacon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Even though it's Friday. Oh boy. So I'll hopefully Monday or Tuesday I'll you know I'll be in touch. Um, yeah, just whenever they're uh, whenever they're done printing them. Victory, victory. got a number. We've got a number! Oh my gosh, babe, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's I just. Oh, you you did it, you did it. You did the work back back in the day. It. We did it. So Okay, so we're watching, hold on. We're watching. He did it, hold on. Oh, stop. Oh my gosh. So handsome. Wait, we are watching last year's vlog one year ago where we reflected about our family finances. And so we thought we'd give you guys an update because there's a, I, I think we've, we've definitely doubled Whoa. the subscribers since then. So there's a lot of you that maybe Whoa. don't know about our family finances. So we're going to watch it, re react to it yesterday or last year. Oh my gosh. And then uh, give you a little reflection. All right, here we go. All right, everyone. We are back from ice skating, and so much fun. So much fun. I do no, want to go back and watch that. Hard, oh my which is good. Oh, the boys are with job. Nana, which gives us an opportunity to have our monthly family finance meeting. Yep. If you guys out there have a monthly family finance meeting, comment below if you feel comfortable doing that, and share your tips about what yeah. you do for budgeting. That's good. Um, oh, so here's one comments. of our tips for. 2017, what are we gonna do? At the end of December, we always sit down and have a big annual meeting where we think of all the oh, costs God. that are outside of what you would normally think of. So you normally think of your mortgage and date nights and things like that. Christmas presents, that's something that's normally divided out by clever. That was a great, great tip. Very clever. Yes, yes, yes. All right, catch up with you in one hour. Break. 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 Oh, we break. <laughs> break. Break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what we're doing now is going through the list, the um, need, need list, right? Yeah. Need list. Separating out needs versus wants. Highlighting the need list versus wants. That's hard for me. That's what we're doing. Some star. Nice. Okay. So, everyone, there you go. That was like the two and a half minute clip of our family finance meeting in 2016. Mm -hmm. We were kind of ahead. One year ago. Out of schedule. If we were already doing 2017. Right. Mid-December. Preparing for 2017 budget, which is this year. And you want to give them a brief little update on how the year has gone? Which we should show the envelopes. Oh, yeah. Time. Okay. You want to go get them? Or you could do B-roll. Yeah, we'll, go, we'll do okay. B-roll. We'll do B-roll. Um, I think it was a fantastic year. This was the year we got out of debt, paid off all of our debt besides our house. Oh. And we actually not only did that, we had a lot of it's additional expenses bad, but of <laughs> of pain um my big sister had had her first vows this summer oh. and there was a lot of expenses with that mm. for our family and then um she had a home visit so she came here and we really wanted to treat her well and like take her to pf james and yeah. do all sorts of fun stuff yeah. and we also had a lot of stuff we wanted to buy for the house like the patio furniture the patio, and we say for our uh, hotel getaway for our anniversary and things that because we've been gazelle intense for 18 months or however long, long it was 15 months yeah we we wanted to, to, to buy and we wanted to build up our emergency fund so anyway we I feel like this was like the most epic year financially for us ever we for got sure. out of debt we <clears throat> saved up an a emergency money. fund yeah we saved up a lot of money and paid in cash for all the fun stuff that we did for the whole year. That's why we're always kind of showing cash on the camera. Yeah. It's not to flaunt, it's to show you that instead of using the credit card, you know, which can, you can get in trouble pretty quick. Yeah. You get your envelopes, you put your cash inside, and then you know that's how much you have to spend that month. So that's why we do that for date night and everything else. And I mean, we even had one for like um, pa painting the house and- mm -hmm. Still in progress. <laughs> but we pay for it all. Yes. And all sorts of stuff that we wanted to do, but we, we didn't right. allow ourselves to that do it way. until all the dollars were saved in that particular envelope. So I feel like we crushed it. Basically, and thanks to God. basically from a year ago, I mean, we're talking night and day. Yeah. As far as anxiety in the heart Aww. and like having anxiety around money, because that's, yeah. that's you guys know, like when know you it. have a, a medical bill that pops up or your car breaks down, and you're yeah. like, that can send you right into debt. And so there, it's night and day. Yeah. 365 days ago. Right. So that video, even though it was pretty positive video there was you know we're still on kind of walking on eggshells right it was very i think it was like march the first week in march is when we got out of debt january february so there was yeah a couple at least, more months yeah a couple more months 
And another thing we did, but this yeah. is my tip I, before I forget, is this year when we made our budget, every month we make a budget and we zero out our dollars. So however much dollars we know are coming in, we zero them all out. So he gets paid on the last day of the month and then that money pays for the upcoming month's bills. So we can do that. We can zero it all out. And I always, I did it on Excel and I just added, or I printed it off or I would do paper, whatever. I would add if there was something that came up that we didn't know. For instance, um, we registered our Joseph for kindergarten. For school. And that was 40 bucks to register him. And we knew it was gonna be something and I think we, we had put 60 because I was overshooting it. But it was like it's like little things like that that you might not yeah. remember or you didn't actually know about. So anytime there was extra, either extra income or extra expenses, I would write it on the actual budget and then I kept that budget. So this year for 2018, when I go through, I know what things cost what. And, and just because we're out of debt doesn't mean that we're like, woohoo, like spending like crazy for Christmas. So, right. hon, you may have seen this floating around the YouTube recently, Vlogmas. Oh, what is Vlog that? Vlogmas. Christmas. Lot Christmas. Put them together. Oh. So yeah. people are making videos on the YouTube oh. all about Christmas, Advent, but they it's called Vlogmas. Oh, so cute. What is our budget? And this is you know we we discussed this ahead of time. We decided to tell yes. everyone just to be open and you know just to be open. Yes. What are we spending this year on Christmas? Presents? Total for Christmas presents for our children, our siblings, um, parents, and maybe a few neighbors, and then the Christmas tree. And then our Christmas cards, which I can tell you how we got a good deal on that. Um, total three hundred dollars. Wow, three hundred bucks, Duh. which you know is pretty little. It, it is small. It is small, but it's not. Oh, last year, what was it? Oh, it was much less. It was like sixty. <laughs> <laughs> because we you know we're slowly moving up, slowly moving up. But yeah. now, keep in mind, we do we do still shop for the children at uh, Goodwill. Yeah. Yep, we're not afraid. Total, use, what I spent tool. on them for Christmas was fourteen dollars. So. And Garage sales this past summer. Yeah, so. that's true. And we do have generous um, parents. So, like, they are also getting our children presents. And also, we don't think our children need a ton of presents. But yeah. they're going to get some new things. So, um, well, yeah. Vlogmas Christmas 2017 financial update in the books. Mm. Thanks for watching. And uh, we're off to a party. Yeah, we are. Party! I think we should have them if you have any tips. Oh, yeah. You, oh, I'm sorry. Or Question if, of the day. Yeah. If you have any financial tips of how of your family budgets or saves money or gets ahead... Um, I was just reading this book the other day and it was talking about playing good defense. So, you know, never paying full price for something. It's like when we go on our date nights, always having a coupon, buy one, get one or whatever it might be. It doesn't mean you can't enjoy life. But so anyway, all these little tips. Leave them down below. And I never thought of a Christmas card. I would only ever just do Shutterfly or Minted with a coupon and then be like, I'm winning. But we just took it a step further and we're like, no, I bet we can find it even cheaper than that. So that was a good tip. I thought I, you know, we're friends. Yeah. I'll just think yeah. of that one. But so anyway, if you have any tips, we'd love to hear them because it's the more defense you can play, the the more you can, you thrive know, thrive later, thrive later and give later. And um, yeah, we have so many dreams of when we're like 60 of how we can like give, <laughs> everybody. Yeah, give back or take care of people in ways that, mm. you know, we'd love to, we'd love to get there. So help us, help us get there. What are your tips? Oh, <laughs> drop the, drop computer. the mic. Hon, let's do some B-roll. Okay, oh yeah. I'll do some B-roll and um...